jeans on for this video to look all cute. Do you know how hard it is to sit crisscross applesauce with jeans on? Difficult. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah and I'm going to do a April book recap. So in April, I read like nine books, which honestly, I had this like competition with myself in my head that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to beat like last month's reading thing. Because last month in March, I read 13 books. Y'all, that's crazy for me. But I'm a very competitive person, mostly with myself. And so I was like, okay, I have to read at least 13 books this month. And so when I got to the end of the month and it was like, like last week, I was like, oh, I still have time to get my 13 books. And I was like, no, the month ends on Tuesday. <laughs> and so I read nine books this month and I'm still very happy about it. I'm still very happy about it because I don't know. I mean, I feel like reading should be quality over quantity, right? And so that's what I'm trying to tell myself. To start of April, I read The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. Um, this book is about Emily who keeps reliving Valentine's Day over and over and over and she has to keep watch watching her boyfriend, Josh, kiss this other girl and she keeps running into Nick who she finds super annoying. And so that's basically the plot of this. It's just Valentine's Day over and over but then it gets really good and so please pick this up. Five star book for me. I read this in five hours, sat down at seven and did not get up until I finished it. Ah, oh, please read it. It's so I liked it as much as I like better than the movies, I think, but that I might just be biased towards Lynn Painter books. So five out of five stars for me. And then the next book I read, the next like how many books? The next five books I read on Kindle, so I don't have the physical copy of them, but I'll put a picture of them like right here. Um so I read Scarlet by Marissa Mayer from the Lunar Chronicles. That's book number two. And I gave this book a five stars. Very good book. Basically, it's, um, it's a, so the first book was a Cinderella retelling and I read that back in March. And so then they add on more characters as the books go along. So you're still seeing uh, Cinder's point of view. But now you're also getting Scarlet's, and Scarlet is a Red Riding Hood retelling. I think that's what it's called. Like with the wolf and stuff, like the big bad wolf. I think that's Red Riding Hood, right? That makes sense. But it's a Red Riding Hood retelling. And so she basically has to like help, she ends up meeting up with Cinder somehow. She has to help, and then there's like side plots of romance in all of the books, and that is what made me keep reading them. But yeah, five stars. I liked, I did not like Cinder, um, the book or the person. <laughs> uh, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna give this book a try because why not? And so I read it and I love Scarlet so much more than I love Cinder. And I love Scarlet's love interest. I also love Cinder's love interest. I just don't like Cinder though. So like, whoops. And then the next book I read is Cress by Marissa Mayer, which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. And basically, so now there's Cinder's point of view, Scarlet's point of view, and what's her name? Cress's point of view. So that's three point of views you got in there. Yeah. And so Cress is, I'm pretty sure it's Rapunzel retelling. Um, and so... Now Cinder and one of the friends that she's made along the way has to rescue this girl from Luna, which is like the evil place. And yeah, she has really long hair. <laughs> That's what makes it a Rapunzel retelling. And so I gave this book five stars as well. Um, just to be clear, I gave Cinder 3.5. So if you're reading Lunar Chronicles, just get past Cinder if you're not liking it. Get past that book and keep reading because it gets so good. I promise you it gets so good. And so, Cress, 5 out of 5. I love Cress. Um, <laughs> I love <laughs> I love this sad plot of romance so much. This is my favorite one. Mm, I'm not going to say that, actually. 
Um, this is one of my favorite side plots of romance in the series. Um, so yeah, but I will say, as the series goes on, since it gets more and more POVs, because now you have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and then it keeps adding. Um, I think you also get like Aiko, who's an android, and then sometimes you'll get like the love interest's point of views. Um, it does get really confusing at times. The next book I read is Winter by Marissa Mayer, which is the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles. Um, yeah. <laughs> Winter is a Snow White retelling. So now we have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, Aiko, and then this is where like the love interests really have point of views. And so now you're getting everyone's point of view <laughs> and it gets crazy it gets crazy um I give this a 4.5 stars I think it was because of the point of views oh no because some of the point of views could have been cut let me tell you the freaking android does not need a point of view <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there I think so many things could have been cut from the book and it still would have been an amazing book and you still would have understood the plot perfectly fine. I think it was a little bit too long and some people just didn't need POVs. And so that's why I gave it a 4.5. Um, but overall it's a really good book. The ending was crazy. There's a novella about the villain. Her name's Lavina. Or is it Lavina? Lavana. I think it's Lavana. Um, but there's a novella about her life. And honestly, I would recommend either reading it or reading a summary of it because you're, it helps you understand winter more. Um, but I started reading that. I forget. I think it's called Fairest. It's called Fairest. Um, and it's in between Cress and Winter. And I started reading it and I literally got to page like 50 and I was like, I'm gonna cry. Like this is the book that's gonna put me in a reading slump. And so I could not read it for the life of me because most of the time, like if you're getting the villain's backstory, you're kind of feeling sorry for them, but this one makes you hate her more. And so I just read the summary of it on like some website. Just look up summary of Fairest and you'll be good to go to read Winter. That's what I did. So like you can read it if you want to, but I would recommend just pulling up a summary of it because it'll help you understand Winter's background a little more for the next book but it's not necessary necessary to read the whole thing. Um, and then after Winter, which is, which is the fourth and last book, there's a novella after that one called Stars Above. And it's basically the backstory of all of the characters. Like, it's backstory, uh, you get Scarlet, Cress, Winter, Cinder, Kai, which is one of the love interests. I don't know if you get Wolf because I skipped some of the short stories. Cause it's basically just a bundle of short stories about their back life. But I, I read Scarlet's, Cinder's, Winter's, Thorn's, and then at the end there's an after part where it's like after the whole, the whole series. And that one was my favorite because I just liked seeing them all together. Um, so, read Stars Above. You can skip some of the short stories. I did not read all of it, but I skipped some of the short stories. And then, yeah, I gave that one five point, I mean, five stars because, I don't know, I just love the characters so much, except for Cinder. I despise Cinder. I really do. Um, I don't like her. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is, I, so I finished the whole Lunar Chronicles series. Yeah, in April. And so, moving on, I read How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. Longest title out there, I swear. Um, yeah, I gave this one five stars. So basically, it's Cardin's background, and it's literally like, I think it's like a hundred something pages. It's a really short book. It's a novella that comes after Queen of Nothing, but I enjoyed it a lot. So... <laughs> I gave it five stars because I just personally I love Cardin um but it gives you like some of the before stories and then it gives you after stories of him being in the mortal world with Jude and oh it's top notch it's so good 
So if you're still wanting to read The Cruel Prince and read about Elpheim and all of the characters, read the, How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. I'm reading Stolen Air after I finish the series that I'm reading right now. So I'm excited for that, but I'm also kind of scared. <laughs> um, anyways, the next book that I read was Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Y'all, this book, dude, this book. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I bought this book like a long time ago. Was it a long time ago? No, I bought it like beginning of April, probably like April 3rd. And I gave this book a five stars. So basically, I don't even know how to explain it. Because honestly, when I picked this book up, I, was, I just saw on TikTok and everybody was like raving about it. They were like, oh my gosh, this book is so good. You have to buy it. And so I literally had no idea what it was about. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, but I bought it and I started reading it and it was so good. So basically, it's a lot. I, I get very strong Hunger Games vibes. Hunger Games vibes from it, except there's like royalty mixed in, and so there's like princes, and then there's, they also have like powers, so there's the elites that have powers, and then there's ordinaries who have been exiled from the town, and they, like ordinaries are not supposed to be there, but I mean of course our main character, main character is an ordinary, um, and, but she pretends to be a mundane, which is not, like, mundanes just have powers that, like, you can't really use to fight, while elites, defensive elites have defensive powers. And so then they do, like, a uh, annual, I think it's annual, it's either annual or, like, every three years. I really don't know. But they do these trials that are in honor of the purging of ordinaries. Dual point of view of Kai and Payton. And so Peyton gets put into the trials, but nobody knows that she's an ordinary. And so she basically just has to fend for herself using her physical skills. And then Kai is an elite. He's a prince and he's the future enforcer, which is basically like an executioner. He just goes around killing a bunch of people. Um, and so it's kind of like, it's definitely enemies to lovers. I will warn you, it's an unfinished series. I did not know this when I started reading it. Um, if you want to lose your mind for the next day after you have read it, read it now or wait till July 1st where you can read this one and then the next one. The novella did come out but it's not about Kai and Payton. It's about Adina which is like her best friend and I saw it at Barnes & Noble yesterday but I did not pick it up because I didn't want to spend money on it. Um, but yeah, five out of five freaking stars. It was so good, y'all. Oh my gosh, I finished it. Tears came to my eyes when I finished it because actually the ending was kind of really sad. And then I finished it, I just like stared at a wall for a long while. And then I went on YouTube and I started listening to the audiobook. Um, I cannot get enough of this book. It's so good. It's so good. Please read it. The oh my gosh. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just it's just so good. Oh, I have to get past the powerless stuff. Oh, powerless is so good. Okay. Next book, I started uh, the Caraval series by Stephanie Garber. And so, I'm not gonna lie to you, I had no idea what this book was about when I picked it up. I knew there was some kind of carnival Caraval, didn't know what it was. Um, because for some reason, my mind does not comprehend when I read the front pages or like the backs of the books. This one doesn't have a back, it's in the front that gives you an idea of what the book is about but I had no clue what this was about I just heard that it was a good fantasy and it had a lot of romance so I was like mmm sounds good pick it up um so but I'll tell y'all what it's about now that I've read it because that seems helpful um so basically it's about two sisters and one of them has been writing to the I don't know how to like say it though like creator of this thing called Caraval which is like a big game that, that comes like to town every once a year you can only come if you're invited by legend who is the orchestrator um of the whole thing and then things happen she meets people it goes crazy 
Caraval, I gave this one five stars, or no, I gave it four stars. I was gonna say, I gave it five stars, but it should be four stars. No, I gave it four stars. Um, I really don't like Scarlet that much. This is gonna sound really bad, but I really only liked reading about Scarlet when Julian was with her. I'm not gonna say anything more than that about him. But um, yeah, I didn't really like her. She seemed really dependent on him. But the plot is really good. Um, I liked reading about Caraval, and it's just really like a magical thing. It's like you get like sucked into the book, and it's really good. It's a really good fantasy book. So yeah, four stars, just because I didn't like Scarlet. And then I picked up Legendary by Stephanie Garber, which is the second book to the Caraval series. I gave this one a five star. This one is from the point of view of Donatello, which is Scarlet's sister, her little sister. Um, and so, um, I was gonna say something, but that spoils the book. Um, <laughs> they're going to another caraval, like a week after this one just happened. And so Donatella has made promises that she needs to keep or else she basically like, does it, it, it does not go well for her if she doesn't keep these promises. And she's trying to find her mom. And now she has to win caraval and find Legend's true name. And then she ends up falling in love and things happen and I almost cried at the end because Tella is so amazing. I love her. Um, I really don't like Scarlet. This made me not like Scarlet even more than I did it than I did before. Also made me hate the love interest of the last book even though I was obsessed with him. I was obsessed with him in the first book. The second book made me hate him. I don't know. Um, I love Tella, I love her love interest, super upset how it ended, so I'm very, I, my, the, the next book to the series and the last book of the series is right over there, and I can see it, and I'm just staring at it, I'm like, oh, I want to finish that, I haven't even started it, I want to finish it so I can figure out what happened with them, um, so yeah. Oh, talking about books is so amazing. Uh, yeah. So that was all nine books I read in April. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a video of me literally talking about books the entire time. I love making videos like this because none of my friends let me talk about books with them because they don't read. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all got some book recommendations from it, even though a lot of these books are very popular. But if I could give you one, one book to read from this thing, I'd have to say Powerless. Please read Powerless if you're into fantasy, if you're into enemies to lovers, read it. It's so good. You won't regret it. It's a really good book. Um, <laughs> like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And go follow my social medias because I post three times a day, every single day, on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts. So yeah. Um, I hope you have the best day ever. Bye!